Hi friends, today we're going to do a little ratio warm-up, um, reviewing a lot of what we've learned about ratios. So let's take a look. Use this picture below to find the to answer the following questions. What is the ratio of staplers to highlighters? Now when we're writing a writing a ratio, the order matters. So it wants staplers first. So first we're going to circle the staplers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight staplers, and then we're going to count the highlighters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have eight staplers to fourteen highlighters. Now, when we are writing a ratio, we can always simplify it just like we can simplify a fraction. So eight and fourteen. They have a common factor of 2, so we can divide both of these by 2, and this gives us 4 staplers to 7 highlighters. So that's the ratio of staplers to highlighters. And what this ratio means is that for every 4 staplers, there are 7 highlighters. And we can kind of see this in the drawing if we circle... We can circle seven highlighters and four staplers together. Let's see if we did that. There are four staplers in that circle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven highlighters. And then we can make another group. This group also has one, two, three, four staplers and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven highlighters. So ratio tells us this is what it means. For every four staplers, there are seven highlighters. Okay, part C, what is the ratio of highlighters to staplers? Now, here we already know staplers to highlighters, so for highlighters to staplers, we can just switch the numbers around. That would be 7 to 4. For every 7 highlighters, there are 7 staplers. Now, what is the ratio of staplers to total office products? Well, we already know that for staplers, the number is 4, so that's the first number. To total office products, we're going to add up the staplers and the highlighters numbers. 4 plus 7 is 11, so it would be 4, 2, 11. Okay, let's look at the next. Actually, let's get some information. Uh, question. These ones sound a little tricky, but we're going to make it make sense. Staplers to highlighters was 4 to 7. Okay. How many times the number of staplers is the number of highlighters? First thing I'm going to do, we're going to translate this into a, um, an arithmetic statement. How many, I'm going to write a question mark, times, I'm going to write multiplication, the number of staplers. Now, in the ratio, the number that went with staplers was 4, is, I'm going to write an equal sign, the number of highlighters. The number that went with highlighters is 7. So this is asking what times 4 equals 7. Now on these questions, the answer will either always be either 4 sevenths or 7 fourths. So if we have to guess, it's going to be one of these two things. But when we look at our sentence here, we're trying to take 4, which is the smaller number, and turn it into 7, which is the bigger number. When we're multiplying and we want to make it bigger, we need to multiply by a number greater than 1. So the answer would be 7 fourths. So our answer statement would be, the number of highlighters is 7 fourths times the number of staplers. Okay, let's look at the next one. Excuse the interruption. Just one more short announcement that the library uh, will be closed today. Thank you. Okay. How many, we're going to put a question mark, times the number of highlighters, which is 7, is equals the number of staplers, which is 4. So once again, if we have to guess, we're either going to guess 4 sevenths or 7 fourths, but we're not going to guess. This time, we're trying to take the bigger number, and turn it into something smaller, turn it into a 4. So we need to multiply by a number less than 1, which would be 4 sevenths. 
So the number of staplers is four sevenths times the number of highlighters. Okay, next example. Next question. The Bulls' ratio of wins to losses is 5 to 2. They have played 35 games. First, we're going to do a bar model. So wins to losses is 5 to 2. So I'm going to do a W and an L. For W, I'm going to draw a bar with 5 blocks. For losses, I'm going to draw a bar with 2 blocks. And I want them to line up right underneath one another. And this is showing my 5 to 2. Now... They have played 35 games in total, so I'm going to say that this whole bar model is equal to 35. In general, when we're solving a bar model problem, our job is to find the value of one block. We want to find out what one block equals. So here we have seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, totaling 35. So we can take 35 and divide it by seven, which is five. So that means every block is worth five games. So how many games have the Bulls won? We can look at all of their winning blocks. We have five blocks of five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, or five times five. They've had 25 wins. How many games have the Bulls lost? We can look at their losing blocks. Five plus five, which is? 10. They've lost 10 games, 10 losses. That's 5 times 2. Okay, lastly, we're going to make some equivalent ratios. Once again, ratios are just like fractions in that whatever you do to one term, you have to do to the other. So 9 to 2 is equal to 36 to what? How do we get from a 9 to a 36? We multiply by 4. So we multiply 2 by 4 also. And we get 36 to 8. 4 to 11 is equivalent to what to 55? How do we get from 11 to 55? Multiply that by 5. So we multiply 4 by 5 and we get 20. 56 is to 24 as 7 is to what? Okay, this time we're simplifying the ratio. To go from a 56 to a 7, this time we're dividing by 8. So we divide 24 by 8 also and we get 3. So 56 to 24 is equivalent to 7 to 3. And that's the end of our ratio warm-up for the day. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.